Hi there, today we're going to practice multiplication. So if we had the fact 3 times 2, and we were trying to figure out the product or answer, what we're really saying is we're making three groups of 2. 2, 4, 6. So the answer is 6. What we've also done is added 2 plus 2 plus 2. So once again, we have an answer of 6. Another way to look at it is three groups of 2 like this. One group of 2 here, another group here, and another group here. So when we look at these three groups of 2, 3 times 2, we have an answer of 6. Quick question, what is 3 times 3? 3 times 3 is 9. Great work. Okay, let's try another. How about 4 times 5? What is the answer going to be? Well, we know that we can skip count 4 groups of 5. So let's try that. 5 10, 15, 20. So our product is 20. We are going up by 5 each time. Another way to look at it, we have four groups of 5. One group here, another group here, another group here, and another group here for a product of 20. Nice work. Quick quiz. What is 5 times 5? Remember to use your skip counting by 5s to help you out. Did you say 25? Great job if you did. Let's continue. Now we're going to do a little review with zeros and ones. If we multiply 3 times 0, the answer is 0 because you're multiplying three groups of nothing. No matter what you multiply with zero, the answer will always be zero. Six times zero, once again, it's going to be zero. Now the rule with one, if we multiplied five times one, the product or answer will be five. We're looking at five groups of one. One here, 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 and here. So if we multiplied 3 times 1, the answer is going to be 3. Whatever you multiply by 1 is the answer. Quick review. What do you think 7 times 1 is? Yell out the answer. Did you say 7? You are totally correct. Nice work. To review, we have a word problem here. Michael has six apples, and Kylie has four times as many apples as Michael. How many apples does Kylie have? Well, we know Michael has six, and Kylie has four times. So our problem would be four times six. Now think about what strategies you could possibly use here. Could you skip count? Could you draw them out? How many groupings would you make? Here we have four groups of six. If we count them up together, we have six, 12, 18, 24. So all together here, we have 24. So four times six equals 24. So how many apples does Kylie have? 24 apples. Nice work. To review, what is a strategy that you could use to help you multiply? Give me at least one strategy. That's right, you could use your number line to skip count. You could draw out your objects, making the groupings. And you can practice your multiplication fact to know what the answers are. Today you've been practicing multiplication. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about math.